Hey Royals! Welcome to our team kit day. I am so excited to show you these four new cards using the Lots of Heart stamp set from Stamping Up. Um, I even wore my Lots of Hearts <laughs> t-shirt. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip and we'll get started. Let me find, oh, hold on. Here we go. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that okay and it's not too wobbly. There we go. Be sure to comment. I love seeing you guys comment on these and tell me what your thoughts and feelings are. Today I'm focusing, like I said, on the stamp set. Lots of heart is what I use along with the mini hearts dies. Let me show you what these dies look like real quick. They are pretty amazing and there's lots of them. All right, so they have lots of these hearts that are squiggled together and this huge chain of hearts. And what's really cool about these ones, this one right here, you can see that it's a double cut. So it does an outline and then it does an inner heart. And so do these gathering of hearts right here as well. So they're super fun. And it even has some even floral aspects to it and a cute little bird and it looks like those are x's and o's but they're x's and hearts a really really great die set um, to have for anything and the thing that i love most about the stamp set have you look at it that it actually does not have any happy valentines it's very um, generic and it has just a lot of heart sayings um, my heart smiles just thinking about you sent with lots of heart you're all heart just a little note and thank you. So this can be used for a lot longer than just February. And you'll see with the color pattern that I did, I made it not specific for that holiday. But you can use the same layout using just different paper and different colors. All right, you guys ready to get started? Let me go ahead and show you how to make our first card. And if you're stamping along with me, grab your card base that's in this Rococo Rose. We're going to do this one first. And you want to get your Rococo Rose ink. This, let me get closer again so you see, this card is um, actually copied straight from the catalog. However, the catalog had it using lots of different colors. And I decided to do a monochromatic um, color scheme for it. And that way it was more um, softer tone and matched along with the other cards we were making today. All right. So let me grab my card base, and if you got the kit from me, yours will look like this. It's folded in half, and then inside has all of your pieces that you would use for this card. I love how easy they come together. First, what we're going to do is go ahead and stamp on the inside, or the front of our card base. Grab your Rococo Rose ink. If you don't have a Cocoa Rose, you can probably use a similar pink or even a Versamark for this step. And I will need a post-it note in here in a second. I'm going to put a post-it note right here on my score, right above my score line in this corner. Like that. And I'm only going to use, actually, because this is a long strip of hearts. I don't even know how many there are, but there's lots of hearts here. I'll probably just use about the first four on this one. And you have a couple choices. You can do um, ombre star style and ink it just once, or you can do it full strength for each one. Let me do a little bit of both and I'll show you. So what you're gonna do is take your ink and you're only gonna put in those four and leave the other off hanging. Kinda like that. And then we're gonna come down here in this corner. Make sure you can still see that. There we go. And we're going just to put some hearts right there. And I'm not going to re-ink this one. I'm just going to let it go. But I'm going to make sure my hearts are staggered and they're or in the window of the next one. So you kind of see how it has that two-tone look right there. And then I'm going to put this one on here and I'm going to find the window of this one as well. So they aren't lined up straight. They're kind of in each other's gaps. We'll do the same thing for the top. Again, just inking up those first four. And we'll come over here. We'll do full strength. And then I'll have it 
move over just a little bit. And I put that post in note just to save the back side so that way it's not being stamped on over there, which would be fine because no one really sees the back too often, but that's okay. Kind of like that. There we go. I'm done with that one, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe mine clean. So we're good to go. On this one, I've stamped these little hearts. And if you have the stamp set and the dies, then that's what you would do. You could stamp those out and um, and then die cut them. However, in a lot of your kits, I just sent you the little hearts already. I'm not allowed to send anything pre-stamped in kits. It's one of the stamping up policies. And so you'll get just hearts like these that came from that long ribbon of hearts from the dies. So get those ready on the side as well. Let's go ahead and finish our stamping. So since we still have our ink out, we're gonna grab this piece right here and we're going to grab our cute little heart. I will have all of our measurements on for these cards over over on my blog. And that way, if you want to see what those are there, you totally can. can. All right, I'm gonna stamp this. You know what I actually wanna do? Ooh, one second. Let me grab my foam mat. Since I'm using my photopolymer, I like to use this mat underneath my grid paper just to make sure I get nice, clean images when I stamp with it. There we go. And I, that's all I do. I just kind of slide it underneath there. Let's re-ink that just to be on the safe side and go ahead. And I'm gonna start with this one just about a little bit over from the halfway point and stamp it down. And I'm just move this down a little bit and ink it like that again. So it gives that two-tone look. I'm then going to stamp it up here in this corner, that full strength. And then we're gonna come over to this corner here and one more down that bottom. So it should look kind of like this when you're done. I had all my darker images up on the top and have the lighter coming down to kind of give that ombre look again. Super easy and cute. All right, so those ones are done. Set those aside. And now we just need to stamp our saying on this one. And it's, I have sent with lots of heart, but you can use any of the stamps from that set. If you want to do just a little note for this one, thank you, or you're all heart, those would all fit as well. Let's do scent with lots of heart. I'll ink it up and just center it along this part here. Press down. Awesome, that one turned out great. All right, now that should be all of our stamping and we can start assembling. That means I'm gonna put this away, however, if you want to, you could totally add a cute little heart to the back here or a flower or whatever would look best. You could even do, oh, I just wiped that one down, but that's okay, we'll do it too. That same image right here and give it a nice big heart. Cute, love that. Now we can put our ink away. The rest of these cards will just use the Knight of Navy. And so if you have that, out, make sure you are ready to go. So I'm using this DSP, DSP, this is paper from the celebration. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Paper Blooms, I think this is what this one is, yes. And you can use either side of it, but I like this, um, more of the floral side. Let me get it to the right side of our card base though. There we go. And we're gonna just kind of angle it a little bit up that way. You can either use your glue or you can use your seal. Whatever you have, this one's pretty flexible. And just angle it like that a little bit. And then we're gonna grab this piece here, and put some adhesive on the back. I slipped on that one off my mat. Let's see if I can get, there we go. That sticky spot. Usually I take, let me go ahead and do that now. Take out my foam mat because I don't need it anymore. So we're not stamping. And that gives me my surfaces better now. Okay. And this one, you're just going to have it so that way that DSP is peeking out a little bit. And you want to try to see it from all other sides. This one, you can tell I have not very much showing on this part. That's okay. However you want it. All right. 
Next, we're going to attach our heart. This heart right here is your extra heart. You can use this for anything you want, but this is how it cut when I cut this one out. So set that one aside and you can use it for anything. Let me grab one second. Okay, this guy. This is an awesome tool to have and it's fairly cheap and it's one of those things that you can use over and over again, especially if you wash it. You can see I'm not very good at washing it, so you can see. But this is the Stamping Up Silicone Mat and it works great when you're working with glue and you don't want it to get all over your workspace. So you put this on instead and then glue your items. You wanna go ahead, actually, ooh, before we glue this big heart on, we need to do our little hearts first. So what I do with my Tombow glue is I just make little dots. I'm gonna put one right about here. Maybe. I might need to find the other glue, hold on. There we go, this one feels better. We'll grab, so I'll do a little glue dot here, a little one at the angle there, and one more down here below. Awesome. And we'll just attach our little hearts. And I feel sometimes it's easier to put the glue to the paper versus um, it on the heart itself. And it's a little less messy. Oh, there we go. And these hearts there and one more down here. And now we can add our glue to our big heart. And that's This is all in those Rococo rows. Like I said, I use the same color for this whole card. You see how messy I am and I'm going off from the heart? It's okay because it's on that silicone mat. You could use your fine tip glue pen or I could have, should have made this with these those adhesive sheets and made my own little sticker. But that's all right. This kind of shows you how to glue it. All right, and you're just gonna go around it and kind of make sure it's pressed down and it's attaching. Super cute. All right, and then let's go ahead and add our label, which is this scent with lots of heart. And I'm gonna use dimensionals. And this one you could probably get away with two, maybe do three if you don't want to sag in the middle. And we'll just put that right there. Lastly, if you have a kit, you already have your bows tied for you. Sometimes it's hard for me to send a um, this linen thread or a ribbon not knowing how much you'll need. And so if I give you a kit, I will usually make your bow for you. But I'm making a floppy ear bow. It's a little bit longer than my usuals. My linen thread bows I usually make are very tiny little bows or just accents. This is like a floppy ear one. That's what I'm going to call it. So I just want to play with it a little bit and make it bigger and tug at it, just like that. Okay, we'll take our ends and we'll trim it. There's paper snips and grab our glue dot and put that onto our card. This one you can get away with and not use a whisper white or sorry, a basic white. That's our new white cardstock paper it's called. And you can use that in the center of this card if you wanted um, it to be easier to write on. But it's light enough that you probably could get away with keeping it like that. But there it is. That really cute monochromatic heart card. And it's sent with lots of heart, so it could be used for a lot of things. Cute. All right, let's go on to the next one. Let's do the Knight of Navy one. Actually, mm, I always change my mind. Let's do this one first, which is that soft sea foam. Is the card base. And you'll see why in just a minute why I tell you to do this one first. So that's gonna be the card base that looks like this. And we're going to open up and you'll find everything you need. So I have our DSP that I've already cut out with a heart. I have our vellum that has the cute little flowers on this one. And then I have our Whisper white or basic white piece of paper um, for us to stamp on. Let's go ahead and do our stamping first. 
We're going to do our thank you for this one in the Night of Navy. Let me grab our thank you right there. I'm going to ink it up. You can't see it out of screen. I'm just tapping a little bit. And this one, I give you a pretty wide strip so you can pick where you want to stamp it. And if you mess up, you have multiple tries. Perfect. I'll wipe that down. I'll set that aside. And then for this part, what you need to do is just take your paper snips and you're going to just kind of go maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe even a half, not very far from the end of the word, and just cut it at an angle like that. You can cut it straight if you prefer, but I really enjoyed these little angle cut um, sayings on cards lately. Let me put my ink away. All right. So for the next part, what we need to do is grab our card base and our DSP, and we're going to put dimensionals on the back. So flip it over. And you could, Sever, I, I do prefer to do it on the side that I've actually cut it because you can tell that the images look different from one side to the next. But if you had cut this yourself, you could have picked this side or that side. And either would have looked really pretty. All right, dimensionals. My tip for dimensionals on this one is you want to make sure you support the heart. You want that heart to pop up the most. And so we're going to put lots of dimensionals around it. And then we'll put some on the outer edges of the paper as well. We just want to make sure our heart is up and popping. There we go. And that one. I know, it looks like a lot, huh? <laughs> It'll be good. All right, fun part, take off all your backs. And I've seen people use the take the pick tool to take off their backs. For me, I still have enough nail that I can usually just grab it. There we go. Perfect. Grab your card base and we're gonna go ahead and center it as much as we can onto the card front. Kind of hover over it. There we go. To make sure it lays flat. It's already looking really cool. Next, we're going to grab your vellum, and you can either use glue on this, or you can even use a glue dot. I used a glue dot, and I'm going to kind of hide it down on the bottom part, kind of like that, right there. And I see a part of my vellum that did not get punched out all the way, so you just take your paper snips and just release it like that. If you have any pieces like that, too, go ahead and just do the same. Just poke it out. And then this part, we're going to slide it underneath the heart, like that, and then press it down. If you need to move it a little bit, it has a little bit of wiggle room, but not too much of that. There we go. Okay. Super pretty. All ready. And I'm trying to get it so that way it's underneath that DSP a little bit, so it helps it stay tucked under. If you feel like it's popping up too much, you can add glue on these top corners to keep those down. But in just a second, we'll use our um, pearls and it'll help it keep it down as well. Go ahead and grab your thank you. And it looks like I didn't, oh nope, I used a dimensional only on one side. So closest to the T side, grab a dimensional and put it right there and then flip it over. And you're going to have it kind of going on a little bit on both sides. Let's grab those pearls now. You should have at least three to four pearls in your kit. And you're just going to take them off and put them in the center of the flowers and press down on your vellum. There's a kind of a hidden flower one right there. And there's this flower right here on the vellum. So I'll press that one down and we'll stick that one right here. Super cute. This one I love because we're going to use, this is called the negative. And so right here is what was left after we cut out the heart. And we're using the negative of the card or that die to make a whole nother card, which is one of my favorite things to do, is to use the negative, the part that you usually would throw out. And this way we can 
make a whole nother card with it. And the, the way to do that is just to plan ahead and cut out this piece of paper first. And I did that the four by the five and a quarter and then chose where I wanted my heart to be. See, this is my little linen thread ones, just like that. If your kit has the bow already in it, so you should be good to go. And we'll just use a glue dot and attach that bow underneath the thank you. Just like that. Play with it, make sure it's lined up right. Cute. Okay, there's card number two, our soft sea phone with the negative heart. Super fun. Hopefully you guys are stamping along or are watching. I don't see very many comments, so feel free to comment. And I actually might not actually see comments until later, and I apologize if that's the case. Sometimes that happens. All right, let's go ahead and do this one now. It's a Knight of Navy card base, and it should look like this when you have it in your kit. And you'll open it up to find all of your pieces. And we're going to use the negative from that last card we just used. All right, so grab these out. This one is so fun. I love using, like I said, the negative and making a whole nother card. But this is what our original die cut out was this cute heart. And in our um, mini hearts dies, there's another heart that I added and die cut at the same time that just make those holy hearts. <laughs> I don't know what to call that one. Let me show you what it looks like real quick. So this one, I put in the center of this one when I ran it through just one time. So I put this heart and this heart and cut it through our DSP and I got all those in one fell swoop, which is nice. Okay, let's grab out our little piece of Whisper White as for our label to make our just a little note. And we'll grab our Knight of Navy and our stamp. You can get off the screen. Sorry, I know you can't see that. It gets kind of messy over here. It says just a little note. And we're just going to stamp it on there and lift off. Perfect. Grab our paper snips and we'll do the same thing to that edge, just kind of like that. This would be a great um, card designs for a class because they go together so well with the color combos or this would also be a really great gift to give to someone where they have this nice, very matching set um, of cards. All right, let's close that ink. So I don't get, look, I already got some of my thumb. <laughs> it was bound to happen. All right. So I've already, and have embossed this really cool piece of paper. This is a soft sea foam and I use the painted texture embossing folder for this, which it looks like it has so much texture in it. I just love it. You can use either side, it's up to you, but I do recommend using liquid glue when you're gluing it down because it has all those nooks and crannies that they're hard to get with other adhesives. So I highly recommend using liquid glue for that one. And I also recommend using the seal for the Whisper White. Let's go ahead and put that one. You should have this one as well. Because it's night and navy, it's pretty dark. So it's best to have white in the inside for you to write a message on. So that's just an extra little layer there. Not too, not too bad. And we'll set that inside. There we go. Next, we have our hearts. Let's go ahead and get this one ready. This one you can either use a glue dot or you can use glue. If you did a glue dot, I'd probably put one on this top part right there. We're going to go ahead and use some glue and just do a thin layer. You can even do dots on the on this heart because we don't want to do have so much squish coming out. Let me flip it over. Okay. I'll go ahead and put this heart right about there. I'm gonna go more to the right corner. Oh, see, and just kind of lay it as flat as you can. I love how this paper looks on there. So you can kind of see um, just the little edges of color. Oh, so there we go. Make sure it lays flat. Give it some time to dry. There we go. 
Next, we're going to go ahead and use dimensionals on this one. Just make sure you avoid the cutout of the heart. So I'll put dimensionals on the top here, just like that. And remove that. And we're going to just angle that like there. And then we just need to put dimensionals on our just a little note. I love this kit as well because it has three different ribbons or linen threads or trims, I should say, that we're using as well. There we go. Um, I'm using the linen thread. I'm using, this is the crinkled seam binding ribbon, which I love. It makes great bows, a super light and flat, and so it's not really bulky. So I've made a bow. Your kit also has its bow ready to go. So just grab your glue dot and pinch it and put it on just kind of like there be between those two hearts. And let me make sure my bow is not it's good. There we go. And then I have these awesome heart charms. This came out in the new mini and they are just super cute. Let's see if you can get those. I have they're a silver heart and they're really light. They're not, they don't add too much bulk and just the right color. I did see someone change the color using their blends. So you can color on these and let it dry and then have a whole new color. For this one, I like glue dots, but the glue dot is bigger than the actual size of the heart. So what I recommend is to kind of squish your glue dot first. So I'm kind of, you see that. I'm going and making it more of a someone <laughs> brandy or a line. She likes to call it like a booger. But it looks just kind of flat. We keep it on there real quick and see if I can't attach it to it. And then I'm going to put that on the center there. Take that off and add it to our card. And you can have it either overlapping or however. And then once you have it there, you're just going to kind of scrunch that glue dot even a little bit more. So that way it's not sticky by lifting up. You could always use liquid glue. You just would have to have it um, a longer dry time. All right, there's that third card. I love this one. Be sure to tell me which one's your favorite out of this whole set. I have one more to show that also uses some of the negative. So when I cut this one out, you can see these little X's and hearts and those we made, usually we just use the line, but we're using that strip right here together and having that be our card front for the negative, which is pretty cool. You could leave it blank behind and have that green, but I went ahead and put that seaside spray blue behind it. And I love this card because it's a little bit more masculine in color or a little bit more earthy. I know it has some flowers, but they're still really pretty and I, I love that it's, um, not super girly with that green. My daughter did not like the color of this one, but I do. I think it looks fun. So let's go ahead and grab out your last card with this, um, the old olive. And we'll open it up. And we have a couple pieces here. So the Whisper White is for the inside, or the basic white, I should say. We'll glue that inside. We'll do that right now, in fact, so it's done and ready to go. Let's grab our seal. Um, I don't know if I've told you before why I like to use seal on white. I feel like it doesn't have lines. Sometimes when you use liquid glue, um, I want to call them like, like a panty line, you know? <laughs> when you see something on someone and you're like, oh, you can see those lines. We don't want to see those glue lines with our Whisper White. And you don't see them when you use this type of adhesive. All right. Next, let's go ahead and glue the back of our blue. So grab your seaside spray and we're just gonna glue on the back here. The best way to do that is to have the adhesive around the hearts. That way we're not having gluey spots coming through. But I'm just gonna go around like this with it. And I'm gonna make sure I get that centerpiece right there as well. Then while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and just put it on our card front. Since we're already gluing. Then we're gonna face this down. 
and I'm going to have some of that top showing, and then I'm going to add more glue to the back here. All right, we'll do one more there too. And we'll stick this to our card front. Just want to make sure we have our borders around there. Looks good. All right, let's go ahead and stamp our seam. And I'll show you that third ribbon we're using today, which is the denim ribbon. This one came out, I think, two years ago, and it carried over, which I'm so grateful because it's really cool. Denim 3 8 ribbon. And it's just a great um, smooth ribbon, but great color to it as well. Let's go ahead and stamp our seam on this basic white. We're using the Knight of Navy. We'll ink that up. My heart smiles just thinking about you. And try to center this one as much as you can. And press down and lift up. Awesome. If yours didn't turn out so well, you could always flip it over and try again or grab another piece of Whisper White and cut it to the, to the size, which I think it's three-fourths of an inch by like three and a half. Then we're going to take our paper snips and we're going to banner or flag the ends. So you can see this. I just do a little snip in the center, about maybe a quarter of an inch, not very far. It depends on how big you want your banners to be. And go from one corner and meet it to where we just cut. So right there, and it falls off. And I'll do the same to this other side here. I do have um, punches that will do this for me, but just in case, oh, as I flies away, just in case you don't have that, this is one of the great tricks of creating these banner pieces. There we go. And I do like to do this after I stamp, so that way I know the placement of my words a little bit better. Right there. We're almost to that center. There we go. I'll we'll just pull that one out. Awesome. All right. We're going to put dimensionals on the back of this one and have it ready for us. Sitting here on the side real quick. Let's go ahead and add our... Um, ribbon and there's lots of ways if you have tear tape you can use that right here oops sorry just hit the camera um or you could use glue just let it dry a little bit longer i'm going to just put a little bit of tear tape right here and then i'm just going to lay it across if you are worried about it being flappy you can even use um tear tape all along the way which can go just like that awesome all right, next we have two pieces right here that we need to color. So grab your blends. I used the Old Olive and the Rococo Rose because those ones matched with our paper combo that we're using, but you could totally use any colors that you wanted to. And you're just gonna take your blends and color. When I did mine, I did, let's see. We're gonna start with our dark actually these colors in here. I'm going to do the dark one first, which I rarely do, but let's do it. I'm going to go, and I'm just going to do like a squiggle. And I'm using my tip side and not my brush side for these leaves because these leaves are pretty tiny. These ones came with a stamp set and it has a die that cuts them out as well, which is pretty convenient. I don't have to fussy cut this, which is always nice. I'm going to do the same thing for the end of them, and we're gonna go over a little bit with the light to make it blend together. See that? I know sometimes it's hard to see. I'll show you in just a second how it turns out. Closer to the camera. There we go. Love it. Next we'll do our Rococo Rose. And this one, I also started with a dark one, and I use that tip right there as well. And you're just going to do some squiggle lines. So I wanted this part to be darker, so I went in here, and then I squiggled, kind of like scribbling, around the center, like that. Let me do this one as well. And we'll do 
squiggles around this guy. And around this one. You could paint your center uh, or color, sorry, blend your center with um, like a yellow, the Daffodil Delight, if you want to have that. I left my centers white and I can even use those pearls to embellish in the center if you wanted to. Okay, let me see if you can see this. So that's what it looks like so far. Let me go ahead and grab the light Rococo Rose and we're gonna blend the rest of that together. Oh, oh my goodness, I just moved that, do you see that? <laughs> Hopefully you guys are more careful than I am. Let me actually, no, it's fine. We'll fix it in a little bit. You'll be fine. But we're just gonna go through and blend those two together. And you can even leave some white space if you want on those tips. You don't have to color them all the way through. If you want to leave that space, that's totally fine. Super pretty. And just you're gonna go over that color that you or you just did first in the dark, so that way they blend together. This one right here, just like that. Super pretty. And it'll dry a little bit more and that you look different from then. If you have your Wink of Stella nearby, you can either grab that and go over your center pieces of it or even all of the flower and give just a little bit of glitter. This one's going to be like our extra special card. This card, I would say, was more of a avid um, or expert level those other ones that we did first were great for beginners or those ha who have um, some more stamping supplies with them. This one though is definitely a little bit more time consuming but has that greater wow as well. And it shows off lots of different steps you can do. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna attach our label now. And then we're gonna slide our little flowers in. I use glue dots for the sake of not messiness and that it sticks really well. And I'm just gonna sneak this one underneath here just a little bit like that. There we go. And then we're gonna put this one on top. So we'll glue dot that one. And we're gonna have it so it goes over our ribbon a little bit and just a little bit on our banner but not covering up our words. I like that. And we're gonna add our cute little bird. This bird is part of the die set as well. And he's super cute. He even has a little wing. And it's a one step um, die cut process. Let me show you this one too on the dies. So for the bird, you see he has his together. So you'll stamp or die cut both the body and the wing at the same time. Okay, and we also use a glue dot for him. I don't want him to pop up too much. So you could use liquid glue as well. And we're just gonna put him right here in that corner. Now the last part of this card that makes it pretty fun are these little X's and hearts. So grab that silicone mat if you have it handy and put them on there and just um, start attaching them. Put them on the back. A little bit of glue on them. This would have been another good one to have used the sticker sheets with those adhesive sheets. Take that and flip it carefully and put it up here. If you wanted to, on this one you can see I have these X's and hearts and I've glued them back into the parts. So if you wanted to do something like that, you totally could or just leave that blue showing. And put that one kind of kind of have it angled a little bit. There we go. Move that up a little bit higher. Cute. And we'll do about four more down here. And you should have a good handful. So you could even use your leftovers for the inside. Um let me see if I did that one. Nope, I didn't. This one doesn't have anything inside it yet. Which would be really cute to have that following over. Or even on the back of the card. Like I said, this one requires a little bit more patience as it has more little pieces and steps. 
a little bit extra love to this one, right? Okay, so we're going to put that right there. There's Lily. She said hi. <laughs> and we're going to try to put it in those windows because I don't want it to be directly underneath those already cut out X's and O's or X's and hearts. Let's put that one right there. And I love this look of same color on same color. We're almost done, Lily. Don't worry. <laughs> it's our last card for our kit today. Hopefully you guys have learned something new. And tell me which ones are your favorites. I love them all. Here's this one. With the, the hearts and X's. And then we have this one with our negative, with our heart right there. There's a negative that we cut out our heart from. And then we have this one, which is the, all the same color and that monochromatic color theme. I hope you guys had a great time watching and I hope you learned something new. I'm so glad you guys are on my team and that we get a stamp together every so often. Have a great weekend and enjoy if you have your Monday off. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.